What's going on guys and welcome to my turbulent displace tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to put these sort of like warp waves on your clips and make your text wiggle with the same effect. Um, it's pretty simple so I'll go ahead and show you guys how I get it done. Okay so here we are on our rock comp. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and add turbulent displace. I already searched for it here. Um, so go ahead and just drag that onto our clip and then what we're gonna what we're gonna do is keyframe the size here. So let's go ahead and hit the stopwatch at the very beginning of our clip. So hit the stopwatch and then tap U to bring up that keyframe. And we're actually gonna change this number down to let's go ahead and bring it down to like 10. Okay. And we're gonna go down to towards the end of the clip, maybe not all the way, just about there. Should be good. And then now we're gonna go up to 100. So now if we scroll through this, you can see it's doing the warp. But at the end, it looks really, really warped and we don't really want that. So what we're gonna do is keyframe the amount as well. So same thing, go to the beginning and then hit the stopwatch, tap U, and then we're gonna go down to the end. And this time we're gonna bring the amount down to zero. So now if we scrub through this, it warps and then it calms down at the end. So we can adjust these numbers to get the desired effects. So maybe we'll change the amount higher and the size a little higher as well. So let's do the size like 25, the amount starting at 100 and see what that looks like. Okay, it's still a little much. I think the amount's too high. Let's so bring the amount down to 60, I guess. It's not something I use very often, but okay. So that'll be fine there. So next I'm just gonna go ahead and add some scale to it, so S. I had to go to the beginning, stopwatch, and then hit F9. And then I'm gonna bring this keyframe down to the end and then scale this up to 200, it should be fine. And then change the graph to where it's fast and then slow. Okay. All right, that should be all right. Next one, go ahead and add the text in. Um, so I'm gonna hit Control, Alt, Shift, T. That adds text. I'm gonna name the first one Recipro, or however you say that, Recipro. And then I'm just gonna duplicate it and then hit enter, or not enter. I double click it so I can change uh, this text to smash. Okay, oops, not enter. Okay, so now let's move this one. I'm gonna scale this one up and move it over here. And then smash one, scale it up, move it over here. And now I'm gonna parent both texts to the clip. So now when it scales, it'll move with it. So let's go ahead and adjust these some more. I'm gonna rename this one Smash. Okay. And then, oh, there we go. Uh, scale this up some more. Okay, next we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and add the um, turbulent displace onto our text as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, effects and presets, turbulent displace. Let's, say, let's do this, control, click both of these and then double click. All right, so now these are turbulent displays on both um, texts here. So now let's go ahead and change these amounts and sizes to where we get just a little bit of wiggle, not too much. So size right around nine, the amount probably around 25, let's see here. I think that's good. But this, one, this one's gonna be a little bit different with how we're gonna warp it. What we're gonna do is actually go down to evolution options right here, hit the drop down arrow, and then alt click random seed. And then in here, we're gonna put in an expression that's gonna be time star, and then let's try 10. I think that's gonna be a good number. So let's see what that looks like. Doesn't look too bad, play that. We're looking at this one here. That's yeah, not bad. So I'm gonna do the same thing with um, Cipro here. Um, so let's copy the settings, so 25, nine. I could just, you know, let's do that actually. I'm just gonna delete that one and just copy and paste it over. Control C, Control V. So now it has the same wiggle on it. All right, and then the last thing I was gonna do is add some glow to the um, text just to add some um, style to it. Uh, is a stylized glow and then I think I just up the radius a little bit. Yeah, just control C, control V, paste that onto the other one. 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. You pretty much just adjust these settings to how you like it. Like, I think this warps on the clip is a little weak. Um, so let's try this, bring the size down to like 15. But yeah, as you can see, it's basically just play around with these settings depending on the type of clip you have. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just leave those down in the comments below and um, I'll get right to them and give me some suggestions for any tutorials you want to see in the future. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time.